this is question 14 we are starting here the difference between uh, compound interest half yearly and simple interest is given to be 15 so this is difference is equal to p r upon 200 raised to so this is 15 this is p this is 10 upon 200 squared so this will be 15 equal to p 1 upon 400 so this is 15 into 400 6000 so principal is rupees 6000 okay the sum of money is 6000 let's move to the next question okay question 15 let's say the principal is rupees x and here it's becoming eight times of itself so amount is rupees 8x and the number of years is 3. Amount is equal to principal 1 plus r upon 100 raised to n. So this is 8x is x. 1 plus uh, r upon 100 raised to 3. This is getting cancelled. So 8 is, okay. we know that uh, 2 cube will be equal to 8. So this will be 2 equal to 1 plus r upon 100. And here we get 2 minus 1 will be r upon 100. And 1 will be equal to r upon 100. So therefore r is equal to 100%. Okay, so that means if uh, some someone gets 100% returns, then the money will become 3 times. Question 16. Here the principal is rupees x and amount is rupees 4x. Okay, so and here this is two years. So principal is amount is equal to principal 1 plus r upon 100 raised to n. So this is 4x, this is x, 1 plus r upon 100 raised to 2. Okay, so we have over here 2 will be equal to 1 plus r upon 100. So this will be 1 is r upon 100. Again, we get the rate of interest as 100%. Let's move to the next question. Question 17, compound interest on a certain sum of sum for two years at 12% is given to be 795. Find the simple interest on the same, okay? So what we will do is, uh, if you take the principal as rupees 100, and here we take n as two years and rate of interest is 12 percent so we have amount is equal to principal one plus r upon 100 raised to n so this is 100 one plus 12 upon 100 squared so this is 100 into 112 upon 100 squared so this will be 112 112 So this 100 will get cancelled and then what we have, we get 1, 2, 5, double, 4 upon 100. So we get rupees 1, 2, 5, point four four. Now therefore, your CI is rupees 25.44. So if the principal is rupees 100, you get CI as 25.44. What will be the principal to get CI as 795? So therefore, X will be 100 into 795 divided by 25.4. So that can add another two zeros, and this is 795, and this will become 254. So this will be 3125. So this is the principal. Now the question says, what will be the SI? Now you have SI equal to PNR upon 100. So 3125 into 2, and this is 12%. Rupees 750 will be the SI. So first we have to calculate the principal and use that principle to calculate SI. Let's go to the next question. Question 18, uh, the sum of 8,000 becomes 8,401 year. 
So therefore, if you take the principal as rupees eight thousand, the interest will be eight thousand four hundred minus eight thousand. That will be rupees four hundred. Okay, so that will be the SI for one year. So SI is equal to PNR upon hundred. So four hundred is eight thousand into one into R upon hundred. So therefore, you get R as four hundred upon eighty. So the rate of interest is five percent. Now they are asking what will be the CI for two years at the same rate. So therefore, I have two ways of doing it. I can calculate interest as PNR upon hundred. So this is eight thousand four hundred into one into five upon hundred. So this gives me four uh, twenty. As the interest, and therefore the CI will be 400. That will be for the first year. 420 will be for the second year, and I will get rupees 820. Another way I could have done is amount is equal to principal one plus R upon 100 raised to n. So I will take this as 8000. This is five. I one sign. This is twenty. This is twenty one upon twenty square. So twenty one upon twenty. Twenty one upon twenty. So two zeros to the four. So that will give me four forty one. So this will be eight eight two zero. And therefore, eight thousand gives you eight thousand eight hundred and twenty as the amount. So CI will be eight hundred and twenty. Okay, so that's another way of getting the same answer. Let's go to the next question. Question nineteen: uh, What sum of money is the difference between CI and SI? This will be CI and SI uh, for three years uh, at twelve percent will be one three four seven eight. So here we use a formula. We we'll take P as rupees one hundred and uh, the rate to be twelve percent, N to be three years. So what I will do is I will take SI as PNR upon hundred, and that will be hundred into three into twelve. So that is thirty-six. Now we take for CI A is equal to P one plus R upon hundred raised to N. So this is hundred. One plus twelve upon hundred raised to three. So we have got hundred into hundred and twelve upon hundred raised to. Three. So one hundred one one two. So this get cancelled. So we get hundred forty point two nine two eight. So CI is forty point two nine two eight. And therefore, the difference from thirty-six and forty will be four point four nine two. Here we are using the unitary method. P is hundred. The difference is four point four nine two eight. So if the difference is x, uh, the difference they have given it to be one one three four seven eight, and the principal is x. So x will be hundred and two. One three four seven eight. These calculations are not expected in the exam. We get the answer as thirty thousand. Okay, question twenty. Principal is fifteen thousand. Amount is one nine nine six five. N is equal to three years. So amount is principal one plus R upon hundred raised to N. So one double nine six five. Is fifteen thousand one plus R upon hundred raised to three. Okay, we have done a sum like this before, and even in this question, one has to understand that this is a cube. So therefore, this you should also write it as a cube. Now, this is fifteen thousand in the denominator. That is fifteen into thousand. Thousand is a cube, so this has to be divided by fifteen. So let's say one double nine six five goes in fifteen. This is fifteen ones are fifteen threes are fifteen threes are 
and that is one sum. It has two. So therefore, you will get this is one thousand and this is one double three one, which is a cube of eleven. So what we have over here, we have eleven upon ten cube is equal to one plus r upon hundred raised to three. So we get eleven by ten is one plus r upon hundred. So eleven by ten minus one. So that will be one by ten into hundred. So we get r as ten percent. So the rate of interest is ten percent. Let's move to the next question. Question twenty one. Uh, a sum of money is invested at a constant rate of C R A. Uh, the interest for two successive years is given. Find the rate of uh, find the interest in the third year. Okay, so you have C I for n year is rupees two two five, and C I for n plus one that will be two forty. So the difference is equal to two hundred forty minus two twenty five. That is rupees fifteen. Fifteen will be the interest on two twenty five for one year. Okay, so. Uh, so therefore, we take I as P N R upon hundred, and that is fifteen. That is two two five into one into R upon hundred. So therefore, fifteen into hundred upon two twenty five. So that will be fifteen ones are, and fifteen fifteens are. So we get R as twenty by three percent. Okay. So now they are asking what is the interest of the third year. So therefore, if I take I is equal to P N R upon hundred, so this will be equal to two hundred and forty into one into twenty five upon three upon hundred. So this is twenty five ones are and four zero and four these are twelve. So that is twenty rupees I get as the interest. So therefore, C I for N plus two that is the year later will be equal to Two forty plus twenty, that is rupees two hundred and sixty. Okay, so if I understand that you are getting CI as two twenty five, the next year you are getting CI as two forty, and the next year you are getting CI as two hundred and sixty. So that is what we have asked. Okay, so moving to question twenty two now. So here you get CI for the second year is eight eighty. And C I for the third year is rupees nine hundred and sixty eight. So the difference is nine hundred and sixty eight minus eight eight. That is rupees uh, rupees eighty eight. Okay. So therefore, I take I equal to P N R upon hundred. So eighty eight is the interest on eight eighty for one year. Okay. So here we go. R is equal to ten into eighty eight upon eighty eight. We get the rate of interest as ten percent. So if we take the principal as rupees hundred, and the rate is ten percent, so we get uh, I equal to P N R upon hundred. So we get hundred into one into ten upon hundred. So that is ten rupees. Then you get amount as equal to hundred and ten. So again, I equal to P N R upon hundred. Hundred and ten into one into ten upon hundred. That is eleven. So the interest in the second year is eleven uh, rupees. So if the principal is rupees hundred, then the interest in the second year is eleven. So what will be the principal for it to be eight hundred and eighty? So hundred into eight eighty upon eleven. So that will be eight thousand. So the principal has to be eight thousand rupees. Okay, solving the twenty third question, which is similar to the earlier one. So C I for the second year is one three two zero. CI for the third year is one four five two. Therefore, the difference in CI is one four five two minus one three two zero. So you get it as two three one. Okay, rupees one hundred and thirty two. 
Now I take I equal to ENR upon 100. So we get uh, 132 as 1320 into 1 into R upon 100. So we get R as 10%. So here what we do is again the interest will be 10 into 1 into 10 upon 100. That will be 10 rupees. Amount is 100 plus 10 equal to 110. Again, if I take the interest, I get it as 11. So when the principal is rupees 100, the CI for the second year is 11. What will be the principal for CI to be 1320? So x will be 100 into 1320 upon 11. So that is 120. So the principal has to be 12,000 rupees. Okay. So, so question 24. The interesting fact is, SI for two years is 1,000. Therefore, SI for one year will be 500. Half of that. Okay. On the other hand, you have CI. Uh, for two years, it is 1050. Therefore, the CI will be 500 and 550. Okay, that means for the first year, the CI and SI values are the same. It's in the second year, the person is getting 550 rupees. So, therefore, rupee rupee is 500 plus 50. So, this is the interest on this interest. So if I take I is equal to PNR upon 100, so you get the P is equal to 500, 1 into R upon 100. So we get R as 10%. Okay, now they are asking us to find the uh, sum. So I take I equal to PNR upon 100. So that will be 500 is equal to P into 1 into 10. So therefore we get P as 5000. So the rate of interest is 10% and principal is 5000. Let's move to the next question. Question 25. Uh, the population of the town increases by 5% okay, every year. So the present population is 21,000. What is the population of the town two years ago? So remember, uh, this is 21,000. And they are asking us two years ago what is the population. So this will be the principal and this will be the amount. So amount is equal to principal 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. So therefore you get 21,000 is equal to P 1 plus pi upon 100 raised to 2. So 21,000 and this will be 21 upon 20 the whole square. So here we will have 20 into 20, and this will be 21 into 21 as P. Okay, so this will be 1000. So, therefore, if you write P e a decimal point, that will be 19047.619. Again, these type of decimal answers are not expected. This will be the population two years ago. Now, what will be the population of the town after four years? So, therefore, we are asking four years later what will be the population. So, so this will now will become the principal, and they are asking us for the amount. Okay. So here I take a equal to p one plus r upon hundred raised to four. So that is twenty one thousand. 1 plus 5 upon 100 raised to 4. So that will be 21 upon 20 raised to 4. So 21 into 21. 20 into 20 into 20. Okay. So 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So this number will give us 5.63. So this will be the population after four years. Okay, let's move to the next question. The last question, uh, the value of the machine depreciated at the rate of 10% per annum. So it was purchased three years ago and the present value is this. So 
uh, here amount is equal to 43740. They are asking for P and the rate of depreciation is 10%. So P is equal to P1 plus R upon 100 raised to M. Here you have 43. Okay, so this will be equal to P1 minus 10. Okay, this is negative because it is depreciated. So here you have 9 upon 10 raised to 3. So P will be equal to 43740 and 1009 into 9 into 9. So this will be divisible. So we get this as rupees 60,000. Okay. Now find its price a year later also. So right now it is costing this much. What will be the cost after one year? So if you take the I equal to PNR upon 100. So this will be 43740, 1 into 10 upon 100. So the interest is rupees 4374. Therefore, it will depreciate by that amount. So, therefore, 43740 minus 4374. So, this will give us 39,366. Now, this is the value of the machine after one. Okay, so, these are the some of the questions we have solved. Okay, thank you.